Hey, what's up? Sam here. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick hands-on of the Laser Pack Pro. Just for record, I haven't tested on many materials yet, so I cannot tell you if the slogan that they claimed on the crowdfunding page, engrave any pattern on any surface, is true or not. Anyway, in depth review video will come out on Geekbang channel. Stay tuned for that. In terms of unboxing, the biggest difference from the first generation is the magnetic protective shields and of course the water focus supporting stand. With it, you can set up easily and get to go fast. And to my surprise, it comes with a material pack which includes all kinds of stuff like cork coasters, leather keychain, oat, and even bottles of powder. What's that for? Guess for you to make tea when you are getting tired? Just kidding. To set up the machine, it's quite easy. Just unfold the stand, pull the engraver head onto the stand, and connect it with the cable that comes with the box. And last, connect the stand to the power source. It can be a power strip or power bank. Now, long press the power key to turn on the stand. Then you can place the material you want to engrave onto the head. Short press the power key, it will start water focusing. This is so much better than its predecessor. You don't have to use a ruler to measure the distance and adjust the triple manually. Just one key to save you all the hassles. As for the rest of the steps, they are the same as the first generation. Connect to your phone through Bluetooth, choose the picture you want to engrave, and engrave. Now about the results. The left is from the first generation, and the right is from the pro version. Which one do you think is better? Please leave a comment below. To be honest, I have mixed feelings about it. On one side, the pro version seems to generate more details. You can see the short patterns is clearer, while for the first generation, the patterns seem all blurred. However, on the other hand, overall, I feel the engraving from the pro version is too shallow. I have to let you know, for the pro version picture, I've already adjusted depth to 95% and engraved twice. Not like on the first generation, which I used a default depth that's on 10% and only engraved once. But as I've tested with the core coaster, the picture is okay. So it seems like the results vary from material to material. Or maybe the way I use the perversion is not right? Currently, I have no clue. But I will definitely find all this out and tell you guys the situation later. Apart from that, one thing I really love the laser picker is the portability as always. You can basically engrave materials anywhere, anytime. As last time I took the laser pick pro outside and took one zoom picture and engraved it from the phone right on the spot. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, stay subscribed on Kibai and my channel. More detailed and honest review video of the laser pick pro will be on very soon. Catch you later.